Pacific Nations Cup, round number two, folks. Samoa up against Tonga. Traditional rivalry, that one. And then Fiji up against Australia A. We're going to go through some squads, some predictions and uh, stats. And you guys can let me know your thoughts on how these games may or may not go. Remember, they're all streaming on World Rugby's website on most ter in most territories for free. Uh, those of us in NZ and Australia have to pay for Sky or Stan. But um, yeah, otherwise, these games should be relatively easy to access for most and also if you want to get the Samoa jersey I'm wearing on special love rugby man they got it on a pretty sweet discount so check that out if you want to get yourself some Samoa gear speaking of Samoa they're bolstered by the return or addition of a few big names Jordan Talfour at eight doesn't get much bigger than that um, that guy was so close to being an all black a couple of times uh, got injured right when he was about to perhaps get selected, but we are going to get to see him play Test Match Rugby for Samoa, so that's really pleasing for him. Uh, Jack Lamb and Theo McFarland are alongside him in the back row, so kind of same, same from last week. Uh, second row, Slade and Vui's the same. Ala Alatoa and Yuya at three and two, uh, the same as last week. Ala Alatoa is still captain, and then you got Tuala, who jumps up from the bench to start at loose here. To the forward back is largely pretty much the same, but with the addition of Taufua, uh, that's... That's got to be good news, man, because the guy is an absolute unit. Uh, the backs, Tom Matene gets a start at nine, so he's up from the bench. And then I'm really pleased with the addition of AJ Alatimu. Nothing against Rodney, you're not, but um, in the MLR, Alatimu was absolutely on fire. I think he's the top point scorer, made the final, was kicking goals, was setting up tries, getting tries of his own. He was just on fire. So um, really pleasing to see him get back into the Samoan jersey. And then Tamua Manu at 12, back from France. Uh, former Chiefs man, so a good guy to see back in Samoan colors as well. Formai is still there, but then also Ed Fido, speaking of the MLR, top try scorer, man. Like He genuinely looked a level above when he was playing in America. He was in absolute cracking form too. Um, just pace and sitting guys down, so yeah, really pleasing to see him back. Awong was not bad last week for Samoa, two tries, still there on the left wing, and then Tawala still at fullback. So yeah, I mean, a few changes, not wholesale. Tui Loma is in on the bench, another big prop. Uh, back from America as well. So, um, yeah, Sayuli is still there on the bench. He was starting last week. Vasidia is still there. Liuya is there. <clears throat> Fritz Lee. So, I mean, kind of a bit of rotation without being kind of wholesale changes for Samoa. For Tonga, a little bit more surprising because no Fekitoa, no Piatau, no Falau. I mean, I know Falau picked up an injury. I'm not sure how serious it was, but I would have assumed Fekitoa and Piatau to be playing, but nope. Uh, they're kind of going with maybe some of the more of the Moana Pacifica guys because um, yeah it's it's a big change lineup from Tonga obviously Tonga lost last week 36-0 and they could have scored some tries certainly but um, none of the chances just went down so uh, yeah maybe this is a reaction to that I mean Samoa in their game they are 1-0 they beat the Aussies in the last kind of couple of minutes with an intercept um, 31 26. So, yeah, I guess the two teams are in slightly different positions. Uh, Fissi Hoy, Maile, and Tamiafuna are the front row. So, Maile gets a start after being on the bench last week. And Big Ben Tamiafuna, it doesn't get much bigger than that guy. So, he's back from France. So, he gets a start at tight head. <coughs> Poliniati is still there in the second row alongside Losi, who's back from Wales. So, Sam Losi, you would have seen him in Super Rugby. Uh, really kind of agile, you know, rangy. Lock, so he's a good addition. Uh, Halofunua, Havili, and Tupolotu are the same back row. So you only have gets a start this week after being on the bench last week. But otherwise, the back line is not, um, the back row is not too much changed. Takalu is still there at nine. He's kind of missed the consistent, like I mentioned. But then James Fiver gets a start at 10. Remember, he was on the bench last week. And then uh, William Havili, who started at 10 last week, shifts back to his more familiar 15. So Fiver is a 10. So I guess that makes sense with Havili's. More been playing 15 all year. So, yeah, maybe that, that makes a bit of sense. Fitu Paya is there at 12. So that's a bit of good news as well. He's in addition to the 23. Taumopia was at 13. Uh, Tuitavuki is at the left wing. And uh, Fainga Anuku, who was on the bench last week, came on for Falau. He gets a start, obviously, in the absence of Falau. So, yeah, I mean, Moli drops to the bench. Interesting, Fial Fotuaika is on the bench too. He was initially named in the Aussie A side. So that's an interesting addition for him to be named for uh, for Tonga. Tokolahi is down to the bench. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's kind of steady as she goes. It's a 6-2 split for the Tongans. Just two backs on the bench. But yeah, man, they'll certainly be fired up 
to perform better than last week. I mean, statistically, Samoa in their game had pretty good discipline. They didn't concede many penalties. They scored five tries. They were pretty clinical. They only managed five clean breaks in the games. They managed five tries. So, yeah, man, they were they were just really, genuinely, pretty consistently good. And uh, the Tongans, man, like, they had defenders beaten. They had clean breaks. But 22 turnovers conceded, be it knock-ons or getting pilfered, like, that's among the most you will ever see in any game. 22 is crazy high. Hence, zero points, I think. So, um, yeah, man, they'll certainly be looking to to make an improvement in that regard. Uh, the last five times these teams have played, it's actually been uh, Tonga, who's got three of the last five, but the most recent one was a Samoan win back in 2019. That was 25 points to 17. But much different sides, because that was two sides getting ready for the World Cup. So very different sides from the two that are going to line up. Average across their last five games is 25-23 to Samoa. So these teams are generally in that kind of same neighborhood, eh? So uh, predictions-wise, the bookies have got the Samoans by 12 for this one. The rugby forecast algorithm says Samoa by 13. Graham Cooper is the ref. Uh, should be a pretty interesting one, like I said. Uh, the next one, Fiji up against Australia, A. Eh? Fiji were pretty good in their win last week, obviously. Um, some big name players stepped up, but they've also made some changes. And uh, for the Aussies, they've also rotated the squad a, le- a wee bit. They'll be looking to be a bit more clinical because maybe that's where they were lacking a little bit last week. It's the same front row, though, for um, for Fiji. I'm telling a lie because Matavesi is actually getting a start. He was on the bench last week. But Hetet, Matavesi, and Salo, so all guys were in the 23 last week. Matavesi getting a start. Um, Nasila Sila and Rituni Yarawa are the locks. So Rituni Yarawa was on the bench last week. He gets a start. That's a bit of good news because... Uh, he's a bit of a unit as well. Uh, same back row with Tuisui being at 8, Nasove at 7, and Kunavula at 6. Um, and the same 9-10 combo with Lomani and Tella. I'm pleased to see Tella retains his 10 jersey, despite the fact that Ben Volavola is on the bench. Because Ben Volavola, Volavola, when he tends to play, he tends to be in at 10. But I like what Teti Tella is doing, both for the draw and for Fiji, so... I am pleased that he's not just been kind of automatically promoted to 10 and Taylor is actually able to keep his spot. Um, Botia is in at 12. Now, that guy's been playing really well in France. Big ball carrier, so that's a bit of good news. And then Tamani Valu gets promoted from the bench to start at 13. So there's no night for level this week. And that guy was probably man of the match, wasn't he? He was involved in everything. So big shoes to fill for, to, uh, big shoes to fill for Tamani Valu. Uh, the wingers, Habosi, is still getting his shot on the left wing like last week. And then you got Tui Silva speaking of big ball carriers on the right wing, man. Like this is a pretty deadly looking Fijian backline. And then Mata Ele gets promoted to start at 15. Like I mentioned, Vola Vola and Botitu are additions to the 23 on the bench. Uh, otherwise, things are kind of pretty steady. She goes, Dorokoto is on the bench as well so yeah a bit of rotation from Vern Carter for the Fijian boys uh for the Aussies um they've lost Reese Hodge back to the Wallabies proper so they've filled his 15 jersey with Jock Campbell who switches uh Dylan Peach moves to 14 and then uh Filippo Dagunu is in on the uh, left wing be interesting seeing him up against uh, a Fijian side with his Fijian background uh Fouquetti moves to 12 and then Crichton to 13 so it's a pretty much all new backline apart from Ryan Lonergan, who continues on at halfback. For the forwards, they've got the same props in Robertson and Gibbon, but Fassler gets to start at hooker. And then uh, Hugh Sinclair's up from the bench into the second row. Uru moves from lock to, to blindside. Uh, McCrite's still there at uh, open side. Gleason's up from the bench number eight. So it's, it's really a quite different side. Like if you're thinking about that Aussie side being a little bit of a mishmash of guys who aren't that familiar with each other. Uh, it doesn't get that much better with all the changes they've made. Ben Donaldson is also, I forgot to mention, in at 10. Remember, it was um, Edmed last week. So, uh, yeah, the bench, they've got a few new names. Isaac Henry's there. No one needs to watch. He's down to the bench. Jerry Williams, Jackson Pugh. They've still got um, Tato, Kaitu, Hooper, and Holes. But, um, yeah, man, a lot of changes for the Aussie A side. So it might be a little bit disjointed from them. In their game last week, clearly the Aussies had too many turnovers conceded. They lost lineouts. They looked a little bit disjointed. But they played well enough to win that game. But they didn't. Uh, the Fijians, man, they conceded too many penalties. That's going to be the area for them to to work on. 17 penalties conceded is way too many. But they conceded no points. So that's you've got to be happy with that. They tore up the run. They had like 600 plus run meters, which is kind of what you expect from a Fijian ball carrying side. But um, yeah, bookies have got the Fijians by four points in this one. So predicting it to be a relatively close one. 
Uh, and it is on from Latoka this week, Churchill Park. So it's a different venue from last week. I would expect, kind of like last week, the crowd to build throughout the day. Because um, essentially, for the locals, I would say Manu Samoa up against uh, Tonga is kind of a curtain raiser, isn't it? But um, yeah, we'll see how these games go. You guys let me know your thoughts on uh, how you think the teams are going to go. Do you see Samoa and Fiji getting the wins as predicted? Or can you see an upset? You guys let me know your thoughts. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.